Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work, man. You know, I just got finished my live stream. Y you just don't know what it does for me, having all you guys and interacting with you. Even, even the trolls. You know, we had like Robert Smith in there, who's over there trying to beat me down. It's like, you a Giant fan. You ain't got no room to talk about nobody's team. And, and it was kind of strange because Eastside Harold wasn't in tonight. Are you okay, Harold? Or are you jumping off the bridge because your coach GM is just like letting go your whole team? It's, it's actually very uplifting doing YouTube. I used to be scared to death. To talk in front of people and, and and it's it's amazing because YouTube has a, literally changed me to the point where I just won't shut up um, and maybe I'm making up for all those years that I was scared to speak in public it's kind of crazy to me as I think back to a little over two months ago being in Miami with all of those people at the Super Bowl. And now, when I went to the store today, how the world has changed. To see everybody wearing masks, seeing the tape lines so that way you can only go one direction through the aisles and you got to keep six feet apart. Seeing all of the businesses that are closed. It's hard to believe what has transpired in the course of two months. It's sad because we've lost so many people. There's no getting around that. But going through something like this reminds me of when I got sick. I had a flesh-eating bacteria in this knee right here you can see some of the scars still there although I got burned like four years later and of course the skin grafts kind of took off a lot of the scar but I had a streptococcus a infection and I spent two weeks in the hospital I had three knee operations and for the first week I was so medicated in a room that was probably similar to what a lot of people are in right now because it's a biohazard. It was a bacteria, although this is a virus and there's a little difference between the two. But fortunate for me, antibiotics, very strong IV antibiotics, were able to kill it over the course of two months because I had an IV in my arm for two months. It was bad because I had to learn how to walk again but going through that time period of not being able to walk having to learn how to walk having not knowing my name for literally for a week because I was so medicated and going through that pain that I went through changed me for the rest of my life it made me appreciate being able to walk around. I don't walk around very well. You, you guys know I'm half crippled here. But I'm thankful that I can walk. And it made me realize to count your blessings. What you learn when you go through something like this, you learn that a lot of the things that you have don't mean as much as you thought. You know, that fancy car. <laughs> right now you're at home hunkering down. Car is probably covered with bird crap and pollen right now. Is it really that important? That fancy car? You know those fancy clothes that you have and all that? You know when you're hunkering down at home, they don't quite mean the same, do they? The thing that really means something more than anything else you might like driving your fancy car. You might like going, you know, out to the bar and having a drink. 
But what I bet you miss the most is that interaction with people. It's not about that fancy haircut or that weaves or the jewelry, the fancy car. It's not about any of those things. It's about being able to sit there next to somebody, to give somebody a hug, to hold their hand, to kiss somebody, to go out on a date. Now I know there's a lot of there's a lot of domestic violence that's happening because people at we're already having issues. Now it's acerbated, and I probably said that wrong. My wife would probably cringe if she heard me say that, and she would say, "You never use that word again because you, you you butchered it." And I pray for all those people. But you get an appreciation for something once you don't have it, and having not having sports right now. When they come back, maybe your team's not doing as good, you know? But you'll appreciate the fact that you have sports at all. A lot of things are going to change from this. Some maybe for the better. Some maybe you just won't like. I think we're going to have a football season. That's just my personal take. But it's going to be different. I don't believe that we're going to be able to put 65, 70, 80,000 people in a stadium. I just don't believe that we're going to be able to do that. I think what we're going to see is we'll see football teams playing. We'll get our sports, but we won't get it with everybody there. That'll be tough because... There'll be a lot of people that won't have that revenue and that job that they normally have. It'll be tough because for me, a lot of the love of the sport is having that contact on game day with the tailgates, with the parties at the house having the friends over, having, you know, what we did at FedEx Field last year was amazing. It's the first time I met Greg, excuse me, PC76, forgot, we don't say his name on the channel, Philly Cowboy 76, as well as many others. Having that get together, eating burgers and eating chicken wings and bang bang sliders, that's what I'm going to miss most about the football season. Whether we have the season with or without fans. That's what I'll miss the most. It's that personal relationships. We will get through this. And in the end, we'll be better for having gone through it. At least that's my hope. And that's my dream. Last thought here. I don't know how it's been for you guys, but I swear the days are flying by. I still can't seem to get everything I want done every day. I, I just it, I just feel like I just don't have enough time. I just feel like this clock is ticking faster and faster and faster. And everything I want to do, I just can't seem to get it done. And I just don't know how to create more time. Well, it's Friday night. And I'm going to go relax and spend some time with my wife tomorrow's gonna be a big day channel members i'm gonna make sure i post the link for the zoom meeting uh, i'll have it up there by one o'clock and um 
hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, hopefully I can get it right. And we're going to have a conference call. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. It's time to turn out the lights. <clears throat> this party's over.